um, we went through all top 20 coins. This is the 24 hour uh, cryptocurrency news network. And um, we are streaming this portion live. <laughs> I, hit the, I hit the live button on <laughs> accident. So we're going to be doing the last three coins, which are Ethereum Classic, Bitcoin Gold, and Icon. Um, I'm going to be 100% honest. I actually own a good amount of Bitcoin Gold. I have no idea what it is. It's been okay. I mean, it was like top 10 for a while. It's, it's obviously been diminishing in value. But uh, let's start actually with Ethereum Classic. I owned a little bit when it was like 14 or $15 a long time ago. And then I got rid of it because it just didn't seem like a good coin. But go ahead, Mendy, what do you know about Ethereum Classic? Um, it's the fork of Ethereum and during, you know, I was there during the, during this whole situation, uh, about like forking to reverse the hack. Um, and at that time, Ethereum went down because you can't just reverse, you know, um, to, to bail people out. But I, I saw Ethereum and I was like, I'm going to buy more because I believe in this project and Vitalik is like a genius. So that was a good time that I bought more. But I didn't buy any Ethereum Classic. I think I just sold it right away. Uh, same with Bitcoin. Um, I, I don't know. I, I should hold it, but sometimes some coins I just don't care to have to, you know. So that's what I have to say about those two. <laughs> Yeah, so, so it seems like Ethereum Classic and Bitcoin Gold are just these forks. Um, I mean, Ethereum Classic kind of made sense because there was like a hack issue. So you wanted a coin that wasn't going to be able to get hacked. But now, like I said, Ethereum is like the number two coin. It has like the ERC-20 tokens. Um, is Ethereum Classic somehow related to like the owner? What's his name? The the founder of Ethereum? Like yeah. So is, is it related in any way or is it a complete like spinoff of founders and people who created Ethereum Classic? Oh yeah, so it's just um, the Ethereum project just broke away. Um, the guy who did uh, wait, I think Cardano and Ethereum Classic might be similar because the founders, you know, uh, during that whole fork, like went their separate ways. Um, but I'm betting on Ethereum because of it. Like, um, so and Ethereum Classic doesn't have him. They could, I mean, the new things that are going on with Ethereum, but. Uh, I'm just betting on Ethereum instead of Ethereum Classic. Okay. Um, so what is Icon? Because I'm going to be 100% honest. I don't know much. I did buy into it. Once again, I, I got tipped by like a YouTuber or someone just told me to buy some. I want to say cool. it's Kubera again. Props to Kubera. Mm -hmm. I think he told me to buy it. And like I said, it was in the 40 or 50 range and it, it blew up. It, it grew a lot. What What exactly is Icon? So Icon is like the uh, the Korean Ethereum. It's like the platform uh, developed by South Korea. So because South Korea is so big on crypto, people are saying they're gonna back their own. Same as like Neo, like Chinese will back their own. Well, South Koreans will back Ike's uh, homegrown project. You know. Okay. So what so, about then, I, Let me bring this up. So then, what about like Ethereum? Ethereum doesn't really have a nationality. Bitcoin doesn't have a nationality. Why um, should we they're a, thinking that it's going to overtake that, or at least it'll. Um, so should we create get, a Trump uh, coin? A you made know, an America coin. But I go Trump. You know, I love Trump. Like we're going to make Trump coin. <laughs> we're going to make it way better than all them Chinese and South Koreans. We don't need that. We got it made in America. You buy the coin, it's going to go up like our stock market. <laughs> so should I? Should yeah. I so Icon and yeah, you should. You should. For sure. They already did. There's like <laughs> two or three Trump coins. So there. I think. Go ahead. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, Icon is promising. Um, they're very new. So, you know, it could happen to go up uh, like Neo did. So I don't know about it. Like you, I bought some because someone tipped me off and I was like, why not? I'll buy a, a few. Yeah. So this is why we have this channel. So like I said, please leave your comments. We're going to go back. Like I said, the top 20 always moves anyways, but we will be doing this maybe yeah. once or every other uh, month. We're going to go through the top 20 coins. We're going to go look at, you know, obviously our users and our subscribers uh, comments and we're going to do some research and we're going to try to start answering questions and try to basically provide more information because, you know, Mendy and I are both, uh, guilty. I, Mendy knows a lot more than I am, but I am guilty where, you know, I put in a good amount of capital and 
you know, I know nothing about some of these coins, you know, like <laughs> I, I should have a rule of thumb that like, don't put in more than maybe 500 bucks if you don't like actually know what the project <laughs> is. But like, literally I am guilty. I'm, I'm going to just say it right now. Like, for example, I own more than $500 of Bitcoin gold and I have no fucking clue what it is. Like I just bought it. Cause I was like, Oh, it's going up. Like, let's just, you know, ride it to the moon. And <laughs> like I said, I think I'm going to sell some of my Bitcoin gold position. Cause it just keeps going down. And I am going to buy in a V chain. What's awesome is like, I've been able to talk to Mendy. Um, you know, she knows a lot more about these altcoins than I do. And like I said, we're going to be doing more research. And, you know, once I actually like research it and I know the product, I'm going to be a lot more confident to not only just buy it, but if the, if the coin goes down, I won't, you know, I won't fire sell it. And, you know, a, a perfect example yeah. is Tron, you know, I, I bought it at a, at a high and I immediately kind of fire sold some of like most of my Tron because I was like, dude, this is just like a pump and dump. And I, I unfortunately lost money on Tron, but Hey, I mean, the one thing I liked about it is that I actually went on Tron's website. I looked at their white paper They kind of laid out what they were going to do in their partnerships. And to be honest, I'll buy into Tron and I, I will believe in Tron if they actually do what they say. Cause I do feel like a lot of these coins, they're just high in the sky ideas. What do you think, Mendy? Um, as did you sell before it went down to three cents? If you did, yeah, I then good job. No, 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 no. I bought <laughs> it. I bought it at like ten. I think I sold some at like thirteen, and then it was like seven cents when I sold a lot of it. Like I got out around seven cents. Okay, but yeah, dude, there was like cents. videos on yeah. YouTube. Tron's gonna be a dollar. Like whole Tron to the moon. It's gonna no. be a dollar. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I wonder how much. Uh, yeah, try this. Were... Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> What did the YouTuber say? I was just going to be like, I wonder how much free Tron this YouTuber got to pump the coin. Right. And it's going to be a dollar. Like, is that Tron's like play? Like, let's just go to a bunch of YouTubers and be like, yo, free Tron. Just start pumping it and be like, Tron. Yeah, bro, Tron. <laughs> okay, we're, we're, we're going to cut this off. That was Mendy's dog. What's the name of your dog, by the way? Sorry. What's the name of your dog? What? What's the name of your Zen. dog? Zen. Okay, so that's Zen too. We're, we're going to have Zen also comment on some of these coins uh, very, very soon. But um, yeah, yeah. all right, thank you for watching. And we will be doing this, like I said, please uh, subscribe and follow our channel. We will be going over all the coins, you know, once a month, top 20, and uh, hopefully answering your questions if you guys got them. All right, thank you very much, guys.